What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I'm doing something very exciting and it's actually my first time doing these surprisingly. I'm doing the LTB Slam. Now I used to see these a lot on YouTube but recently I haven't seen much so I decided to grab my box, go out and do an LTB Slam. Now I'm not going to be doing a full detailed unboxing on this because I already did that. Link will be in the description but I'm going to go over really quickly what's in this box. Deep diving crankbait, hollow body, longer hunt froglet, jig heads, bait mate fish attractant, trapper hooks, live target shad, bait mate super realistic earthworms, and some bass attacker lizards. So we're gonna go ahead, rig up first the trapper hooks and the super realistic bait mate earthworms, and we're gonna get this started. Here we go. Kind of like wacky rigged it to look super realistic. The presentation is really nice actually. So let's see if we can get anything. Whoa. Oh, first bite on the, on the worm is actually a largemouth bass. Sweet little guy. Saw my worm slowly descending to the bottom. This guy just came up and destroyed it. Look at that, a little micro bass, but a fish is a fish. We're gonna count it. We don't go by size, we go by fish. Any species, any size. So that is one on the board. We're gonna try and get one more before we switch baits, but hey, nice little bass. Oh, other way, bud. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> Another little largemouth, a tiny bit bigger than the last one, but it seems like these little tiny largemouth run after these small worms like right away. They don't even hesitate at all. They see a little baby worm and that is a meal for these guys to grow. So, I mean, that's two largemouth bass, nothing of size, but then again, those little, actually little worms are really small. So I was kind of expecting small fish on this small finesse setup, but here we go. Second largemouth bass with the bait mate worm. These guys need to grow. No wonder they're so eager to eat. There he goes. So we use the trapper tackle hooks and the bait mate ultra live baits worms. That is down in the box. Next, we are going to switch to the bass attacker lizard with the mustad jig head hooks and a little bit of the bait mate fish attractant. So this is gonna be all in one combo and that's gonna be that. Hopefully we catch something on here quick so we can move on to either the live target shad or the frog. So let's tie this on and get to it. There we go. Woo! Oh! Had one on the lizard, got off, doesn't count. There we go. Fish on, boys. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh my God. On the shaky headed lizard. No, oh. Oh yes, oh boy, here we go you guys. I've been working on this lizard for a couple hours now and it paid off, holy crap. Oh no, oh, oh gosh, look at this you guys. Oh, look at those ruby red lips, holy crap. Shaky head and lizard, sweet. Probably a nice three pounder maybe. Definitely gonna weigh him, holy crap. I've been working on this for a while, guys. We can finally move on to the next bait. I zeroed out. Yeah, it looks lighter. 215. Let's do one more, see what happens. Scale's kind of messed up. I don't know. All right, zeroed out. Yeah. So two, two and a quarter. The first weight, the first weight was wrong, but there you go. Two and a quarter pound bass on to the next bait. Finally, let's let this guy go. Almost ready. Let's turn him around. You ready, bud? There he goes. Yes. Oh, there we go. 
go. Woo! On the frog legs. <laughs> Finally had a couple blow ups. Whoa, here we go. Had a couple blow ups on the froglet. Finally hooked one up. I am going to count that, but we're going to see if we can get a couple more. Here we go. Oh, better one. Better one on the froglet. Oh. Woo. There we go. They are killing it right now. The Lunker Hunt froglet works you guys i've been wanting to try this for a while the spook like frog the spook like hollow body frog and i am digging this thing there you go that's like two blow ups on this two catches heck yeah i think we are ready to move on to the next bait let's get this guy off put him back and continue with our challenge oh there you go buddy please don't splash me Please don't splash me. Oh, thank you for not splashing me. There he goes. All right, on to the next bait. All right, so the next bait we're going to test out here, try and catch some fish on, is a live target shad. Let's see what we can do. Oh my God. Oh. I just had a freaking huge snake hit on the shad. Holy crap. Oh my God. Did you see that? Oh my God. I got chased up by a snake head. Snakehead just came up and crushed the live target. I should have let him eat. What the heck? Oh my God, you guys, I just, what the heck? Okay, so I just birds nested into that, I was recording the whole time. I birds nested, I kind of stopped it, went into this branch and I caught a freaking iguana. What the heck? This is by far the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me while fishing. What in the world? Oh my god. What the? Oh, this is the weirdest thing. <laughs> We're gonna get this guy off. Hopefully he doesn't freaking bite me. These things are pretty aggressive. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's a little baby iguana. Uh, shoot. He's like grabbing onto it. Let go, bud. Let go, let go, let go. Oh, he's wrapped up. Little guy's all wrapped up. There we go. All right. There we go. He's all free. He's kind of cute. Nice colors on him, but we're going to let him go. <laughs> that is so odd. There you go, buddy. Go. You're free. Go. Go. Oh, there he goes. My gosh. What the heck? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was in a freaking bird's nest. What? What? I am so confused. 
Oh my god. You guys, I, I was, oh my god. I freaking bird's nested. I was dead sticking the shad and this guy just came and scooped it up. What's going on? I'm getting some, some catches on bird's nest. I caught it, I caught it a baby iguana bird's nesting and then I bird's nested again and caught a freaking bass on the shad. I mean, that counts, shoot. That counts for the challenge. Wow, what the heck? I don't know. This is one weird day of fishing, I'm not gonna lie. But here we go, on the shad. Not a giant bass, but he sure crushed it. One more bait, which is that deep diving crankbait. I don't think I'm gonna have too much luck with that, but I don't know, my luck so far today has been pretty interesting, so we're gonna try it. But here we go, this is the live target shad bass caught. Let's throw him back. And he's off. I got good luck today. Here we go, last bait in the box is the deep diving crankbait. Now, I am not optimistic about this. This is the deepest body of water that I know around here. So we're going to try. I don't think I'm gonna get something, but we gotta try. I have been working this lure for quite a bit and I am getting no luck, losing daylight. I think I'm going to call it on this challenge. The only bait I did not catch a fish on was the deep diving crankbait. That wasn't a surprise at all. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. That was my first Lucky Tackle Box Slam. I had a blast, caught a ton of fish on most of the stuff in the box other than this right here. It was a bit of a challenge, but I wasn't expecting to catch something on this anyway. South Florida is not too particular with the deep diving crankbaits, but altogether, fantastic day, challenge beat. If you guys want to check out Lucky Tackle Box or get your own box, I will leave all the information in the description below as well as a code for some money off of your box. Make sure you click the link, show some love, show some support, it helps me out and also helps you out. As always everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing and I will see you later.